Nice to stay with us. I'm Bill O'Reilly in a weekdays of Bernie segment tonight. Let's get right to the purveyor, BernardGoldberg.com, who joins us from Miami. So we're talking about political backlash tonight. And first up, Hollywood director Quentin Tarantino, who said this last October about American police. When I see murder, I cannot stand by. And I have to call the murdered the murdered, and I have to call the murderers the murderers. Well, now uh, Tarantino's new movie is bombed. So do you see a political component here, Bernie? Uh, not as much as you do. I, I'm sure that there are some people who didn't go to the movie because of the remarks that Tarantino made. Some. But there are bigger reasons. One of them is the movie is three hours long. People tend not to go to three-hour long movies. And a three-hour long movie doesn't get as many screenings as a two-hour long movie, so it makes less money. But far and away, Bill, far and away, the biggest single reason this movie isn't doing well is they, they opened, this is crazy, they opened the same time that Star Wars opened. A good rule of thumb is don't premiere your movie at the same time as the biggest movie yeah, but they in can, history, okay? Listen, they, they had enough publicity generated here that after people saw <laughs> Star Wars, they could come over to see this one. Here's why I believe okay. there's a backlash. Because people who would ordinarily see a Tarantino movie, which is a movie that is uh, full of language, um, that is a big, sharp edge, that it's macho, but above all, the Tarantino movies are macho, okay? These right. are the same people that don't like him anymore because of what he said about police. See, he alienated his I target audience. I, I, I see it just the opposite. I think the people who are most likely to be Tarantino fans are the ones who are least likely, because these are kids, basically, least likely to care what he said about cops. But no, you may I'm be right. I but listen, right. listen, you're right. You're, <laughs> Go no, ahead. I'm right. No, Go but ahead. you're right. You're right on a bigger point, okay? You're right on a bigger point. And that is sometimes when these liberals open their big mouths and utter political statements, it does hurt them. As you've well documented, it has hurt Stephen Colbert. That's right. He has made a career out of mocking conservatives, and he continues to do it on his late night show. And statistically, I mean, this isn't just my opinion. 47% of the people who watch identify themselves as Democrats. Democrats, only 17 percent as Republicans. That's right. You lose and all those on the people. other two shows. Right. On the other two shows, it's it's pretty much Even. almost a 50-50 right. split. Okay. He's brought this on himself. Let's get to the University of Missouri enrollment down five percent from uh, or you know people wanting to be enrolled five percent on the undergrad, a whopping 19 percent on the grad level, and that's where the big bucks are because nutty professors like the woman you're looking at. Um, fostered these crazy people. So this is definitely a backlash against the uh, University of Missouri. Yeah, this is an easy one. This is an easy one. Most of the people uh, attributing to the, uh, to the falling, the greatest part of the falling off of the enrollments comes from out-of-state students. So I think these students from out-of-state are saying, I don't need this racial tension. Yeah, well, I, don't I don't need these Black for. Lives Matter demonstrations. I got 49 other states. Yeah. I'll pick a school in one of the other 49. I don't need it. And I think that's what's happening. Yeah, there. and it's that's expensive an to go to there out of state. And, and that right. see, it's, it's a money play. They're getting hammered. All right, and finally, Al Jazeera. And I predicted, of course, the demise as soon as they opened here. I mean, just the name oh, Al Jazeera. Come on. Um, well, they're off the air. They folded Al Jazeera America. Um, right. No surprise. None at all. If, first of all, I'm sure it's a great disappointment to the five or six people who watch Al Jazeera on a regular basis. That, let me just give my condolences to those people. But it was doomed to failure from the jump. Sure. You're right. I mean, if they went to a, a marketing consultant and said, give us the worst possible name you can give us for a news organization, <laughs> right. they would say, how about, Al, how about Al Jazeera? Well, I On heard a rumor that, that they may reconstitute under the banner of the ISIS network. Um, but I'm, look, I don't think that's true. But, but as soon but as they look, went after Peyton look, Manning, that was the end. They went after Peyton Manning, no, said well, they, he might have used performance but, enhancing. But, that was it. But they have Arab sympathies. They, an executive at the company said, you can't use the, the word terrorist on Al Jazeera. This is a quote. One person's terrorist in another, is another person's freedom fighter. Right. They sound just like liberal Democrats. And there's already a liberal Democrat cable news organization. How's that working out? Not well.
<laughs> Bernie Goldberg, well, that everyone. Was, that, why, did it why did it take you so long to answer that question? Because I was kind of figuring out whether I should or not. But I don't, I mean, I'm not going to cheap <laughs> shot them. They, they're, they're better. Let's put it that way. They're better than they used to be over there. Newt Gingrich on deck. He'll preview the big Republican debate tonight because he was actually in a presidential debate. The speaker, moments away.